Hi everybody, my name is Swati Man. I'm a dentist and for those who know me, welcome back to my channel and to my new viewers, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about dental x-rays. Basically, I'm going to explain you how to read and understand your own dental x-ray because whenever you go and see your dentist and you see your hygienist, they take your x-rays and there is an a whole lot of explanation about what's going on. So today we're going to find out what's normal in an x-ray or what's abnormal in a dental x-ray. So let's have a look at that. So let's start from the x-ray of a healthy mouth. So this is the x-ray of a healthy mouth where we can see the teeth and the bony structure. Mostly this is the type of x-ray which is taken in, an, in a general dental environment because we want to see the every segment of the jaw. So there, there we can see the teeth. The teeth has three major shades if we talk about the colors. The outer whitish layer is your enamel structure. The second layer, which is slightly gray in color, is your dentine. And the inside structure, which is looking quite dark or very black in color, that is the heart of the tooth, also called as the nerve of the tooth. Right in between your teeth, you can see some cobweb kind of structure, like a trabecular structure. That is basically the bony level of the tooth. The level of the bone should be at the cemento enamel junction. This is basically a junction between the root and the crown of the tooth. So if the level of the bone is at this level, that's, that's the healthy bony structure or what we say is a, is a normal, gun, go, normal gum condition. But if the level is much lower than that, that's when your dentist will diagnose you with any gum problem. So let's talk about what's abnormal or unhealthy in a dental x-ray. You will hear two words from your dentist very often when they will explain you the x-ray. One is if something is radiolucent, which means if something is extremely dark like a shadow, or they will use the word radio-opaque, which means if something is very bright or very white, like shiny white. So let's see what are the radiolucent images on a dental radiograph or a dental x-ray. If they see this kind of radiolucency, which is present on the surface of the tooth, which is an outer surface enamel, or on the dentine, you could be symptomatic. You may have sensitivity in this situation because this looks like a decay or a cavity in between the teeth or on the surface of the teeth. And you probably will need a filling for that or a crown for that, depending on the damage. If this kind of radiolucency is present on the tip of your root, that means there is an infection on the tooth and the tooth might need a root canal treatment or an extraction. If this kind of shadow or darkness or radiolucency is present underneath an already existing filling or any crown, in that situation it is called as a secondary cavity and the filling might need a replacement. Some darkness shadows are, could be normal as well. For example, here we can see there is a darkness around the root of the teeth. This lining is a maxillary sinus lining and that's absolutely normal. So now let's talk about the radio opacity. So what are the radio opaque structures in the x-ray and how do we identify that? So the first thing that we see as extremely white or bright in color on the surface of the tooth, this is a filling. So depending on the material of the filling used by your dentist, the brightness or the whiteness can be extremely white. Like for example here, this is the brightness of a silver filling. But if there is a white filling on a tooth surface, it might not be as white or bright as the silver filling is. But if the margins of the filling is looking absolutely intact, there are no overhangs, no overlap, and we don't see any shadow underneath the fillings. That's absolutely fine. Uh, we also see the crowns, which are extremely white or radio opaque. Depending on the material used by the dentist, it could be silver material, ceramic material, composite material. And hence, we see the radio opacity depending on the material used. The silver fillings, could, silver crowns could be really bright in color, whereas the composite crowns can be slightly dull like that. Sometimes the radio opaque structures are also found on the bony structure. So if we see on the bony structure, there is some kind of density or the whiteness like this, it could be a cyst, but it's important to know what that is. So these are the radio opaque structures. Mostly this is the, these kind of x-rays are taken to see the health of your existing fillings or the existing crown and for the general checkup purpose as well. Other radio opaque structures could be the tartar buildup in between your teeth, which looks something like that. So these triangular things that you can see in between your teeth is the calculus or the tartar buildup, and hence you need a regular scale and polish to get rid of it. So 
Sometimes this tartar is present underneath the gum structure as well, which we really can't see inside the mouth. And for that, you need a deep cleaning. Sometimes the radio opacity is also due to the overlapping contacts between the teeth. So if the teeth are extremely crowded and they're kind of overlapping each other, you also see that radio opacity, which is absolutely normal. Or sometimes the angulation or the way the x-ray is placed inside the mouth and the way the x-ray is taken, it leads to a bit of an overlap of the contact points, which also looks quite radio opaque like that. But that's also absolutely normal. Another very common reason for taking a dental x-ray is to locate the position of the wisdom teeth. Because if your dentist cannot see your wisdom teeth inside the mouth, they might take the x-ray of the wisdom tooth to find the real location of the wisdom tooth. Because sometimes the wisdom teeth are impacted. They want to ensure that the wisdom tooth, which is not really visible inside the mouth, but visible in the x-ray, is not damaging the health of your adjacent molar. And if they have to plan the extraction, they want to see if your wisdom tooth is safe to extract because sometimes there is an inferior alveolar nerve. As you can see in the x-ray, there is a black line at the lower surface of the jaw, which is your inferior alveolar nerve, which is responsible for the sensation of the jaw or the lower half of your face. So if the wisdom tooth, which is impacted, is very close to the inferior alveolar nerve, the extraction of the wisdom tooth in those cases are avoided because that might damage the nerve and hence cause the loss of sensation in the lower jaw. So yeah, this was the explanation about the dental x-rays. Next time when you go and visit your dentist, now you know what to look for, now you know your questions, and I'm sure you will have a better understanding of the x-ray as well. So thank you very much all for watching my video, and I look forward to meet you in my next video.